was not. Was so. You just had to screw around with that stupid cat. I'm glad it broke. You want me to punch you in the mouth? Boys, knock it off. Do something constructive. Why don't you practice your football plays? Ouch! He hit me! Freeze! Yes, sir. Here's a good one. Red Dog Omaha 22. Oh, I know that one. It's a hook and lighter play. With flanky children. Watch out! All right, you boys stay in here. I gotta get that truck back on the road. You understand? Let us help. No, you're safer in here. Breeze, you're in charge. Yes, sir. You got that, Willie? like a projected course for Tammy's on the money. They upgraded from a tropical storm to a category one hurricane. Hurricane force winds diameter is up to 500 miles. Looks like it's gonna hit Alabama and Florida. Give me the latest surface readings. They're warm, way too warm. The Gulf's at 91 degrees, 200 miles out. The NHC is 98 on the coastal buoys. Plus the Azores Bermuda high pressure system is exceptionally weak. Impressive, Ms. Schooler. Uh, Demolino, get me Will Rutledge and Ms. Schooler. I want you to run some numbers on the spiral bands and get back to me ASAP. I'll have them in five. Yeah, I need Will Rutledge. Yes, it's important. Is this Dr. Rutledge? You got him. Director Fraubisher would like to speak with you. Sure enough, put him on. I got Will. Oh, hey, Will. Hey, buddy. Now it's my central pressure's dropping like a stone. What you got? Uh, satellite's got it at 999 millibars now. And so far, your uh, dominator's in sync. So I need those drones airborne quick. I'm on it. Trust me, I'm doing it. I don't want to stay out here any longer than I have to. Twenty-five years ago, Hurricane Andrew laid waste to this town. 
And now Tammy's here to do it all over again. But this time, no one's gonna die. Yes, sir. That's why I called a mandatory vac. We got this, Chief. Okay, now once every last car makes it out of town, the assigned officers to make sure them roadblocks are set up. I don't want any looters slipping back into town. Not on my watch. Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay, now head out. Sheriff Dixon, this here storm don't look like it's gonna amount to much. We gotta evacuate. Now, Clayton, best to evacuate first and then double guess yourself later. Now, be a good citizen and get a move on. Come on. Yes, sir. Resistance to concern, mastery of panic, not absence of anxiety. Mark Twain. Spare me your poetry today, Connor. <laughs> I can't help it. It's in my Irish soul. Your Irish soul left Ireland two generations ago. No. My parents brought me over here when I was five. I didn't know that. There's a lot of things that you don't know about me. Still got two passports. Gonna retire back there when all this is over. And here I've been stuck on milk runs with you for a year, and I thought I knew all there was to know. What is the hurry? We do have to bank this load before the storm hits, so there's that. Here, move over. What? This is Corbin. Buckle up. You know those bumps in the road you hear about? Here they come. You know, I think you're a little psychotic. I think you're a little bit right. You're gonna ruin somebody's tobacco crop. A little less cancer in the world. Ask your brother if he's reading it. You reading this, Clem? Hold on, bro. It's shunting. Keep trying, man. All right, hold on. All right, that should do it, bro. Yeah, uplink, full strength. Good job. <laughs> Close her up. Money is honey. to other trucks. They couldn't keep up. I've got a feeling not many can. Welcome back, you two. Open it up. How's you still there? I got them loaned. Should you get the readings? Yeah, they're in sync. Well, stick around. There's only going to be a cat soon. Get some new measurements. You're sitting in a tank, for Christ's sakes. No, thanks. You're underestimating our can smell it. Yeah. While you're smelling it, we're reading it from carefully calibrated scientific instruments. The cumulus are spiraling inward at a crazy rate. Millibar's 985. You ever seen a millibar dive that quick? Not consistent with our projections. Damn your projections. I'm telling you, this one's gonna be off the scale, trust me. 
Dinner at the Crab Shack if it gets higher than a two. Now stop thinking about your stomach and your government expense account that's gonna pay for it. You should get the National Guard down here before it's too late. I respect you, Will. You're a first-rate meteorologist. But I can't just traipse into the president's office and offer up your gut now, can I? Well, you wish you had. I never met anyone so afraid of the very thing they were fascinated by. Well, I got a few contradictions, but so do you. Like eating candy bars on a strict diet. Yeah, now you mention it. <laughs> Wrap it up and come home, Will. Yeah, I am home, buddy. I am home. Even after 11 years of this, I never get used to that sight. I hate old money. It's greasy, it smells. It's been up a thousand noses and buried in too many G-strings. You say that like it's a bad thing. The best part of this lame-ass job is watching it turn into confetti. Sergeant Deary? Yes, ma'am. What's with the backup? Why haven't these been shredded? Shredder's been down since you left. All right, let's get him in. Copy that. Working absolutely perfect one second, next second stops. I got all my guys looking at it, and no one around here can figure out why. So you got here not a minute too soon, Miss Ben Dietrich. You can call me Sasha, Agent Moreno, because you're the one paying the bills. Sasha, it is. So how long is it going to take to get this thing back online? We'll run some diagnostics and get to the root of it. I'll have you shredding your heart out by lunch. Oh, that'll be great. Hundreds of millions in a hurricane are not exactly the best cocktail on the menu. You know a thing or two about cocktails, right, Randy? Excuse me. No for your jokes right now, Corbin. Maybe the less you say to me, the better. All right, I'm, I'm in and out. Let's just keep it professional, right? Thanks. Right this way. Morris, Agent Corbin reporting in. Good time? Bad time? Uh... Everything okay? Yeah. Cargo offloaded? Yep. It's all here with about 300 million of its cousins. The shredder's down, though. Uh, yeah, I know. We've addressed it. But don't forget that 600 million is your responsibility until it's destroyed, okay? Got no problems with that. Turns out I'm all right at babysitting old money. Not to feel old, but... Hey, I want to battery you after Utah. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't even have a job right now. And I appreciate that. It's not really a job. I think we both know what this is. Look, I... I made a bad call. But no one can punish me like I already punished myself. Casey, don't do this. Listen, if, uh, if the money's my responsibility, um, I'd love to get a reset on the vault code. Hurricanes give people bad ideas. Thanks. And Casey, take care of yourself, okay? There's a breeze from Rutledge Total Care. Leave a message, and I probably won't get back. <laughs> hey, Breeze, it's Will. Look, I'm in town. I... Listen, you gotta get... Damn it. Darling, the CBC stuff is so corrupty. Yeah, that's what made shutting it down so easy. Why do they always hire hacks with so little talent when they could have us? Not enough money in it. Yes. 
Yeah, make yourself at home. <laughs> Better check your backup power. Yeah, don't tell me what to do. I'm not saying, I'm just saying. Oh boy, it's failed. Not good. I know, the job's outsourced to some local Breeze Rutledge, it's 555. Phone's dead. Shit, my cell doesn't have any bars. Me neither. Right, where is he? Um, his shop is off of Balm and Garden. It's called Rutledge Repairs. Dreaming, Will. Remember, Miss Bishop, 10th grade biology teacher. Never did learn much, but boy, I was never late. As I remember it, you had a keen interest in her biology. Uh, what you doing here, Willie? There's a hurricane coming, and it's gonna be a mother. Some breakfast. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm uh. What was her name? Jaguar. Jaguar. There we are. What we are, Willie. Can't change people. You sure as shit can't change hurricanes. Well, this hurricane can change people from alive to dead. So we gotta go. Yeah, I've seen him before, brother. Not like this. I'm telling you, this is worse than the one to kill Dad. Yeah. Red Dog, Omaha, 22. Oh. Hey, good hands. You always had good hands. We gotta go. You wasted a trip, baby, bro. I ain't good at leaving. And look around, man. Cause this, it's my entire life right here. But you got the cash and the, the airplane tickets I sent, right? Yeah, I got it all right here. Take your pity somewhere else, please. Need a fresh start, bro. I make a fresh start every day, Will. It's just not so fresh by dark. And all I got to do is freshen it right back up again. Breeze, if this storm is what I think it is, they ain't ever seen anything like it. Okay, I'll buy. But you're gonna help me board up the windows first, ain't you? You, uh, you got a hammer? Heard you got phone trouble. I got a call from a guy named Moreno. There's no clearance for you here, sir. Oh, oh, Corporal, we placed a T-20 for a transponder, Tower 6, got the rain open. I have to shift it over from the source, which is here. Sir, we're on lockdown due to the storm. You need special clearance, which you do not have. Come on, man. We're just doing our job here. Let us in. Sir, this is a federal facility. I need you to turn this vehicle around, and I need you to turn around now.
we in any danger? There's been a breach. You're safe in here. All this glass is bulletproof. So I need you to stay calm and stay put. What's going on? You said we couldn't do this with zero casualties. Huh? You may not want to face it now, Connor, but eventually we may have to kill some people to get what we want. Yeah, let's get these guys locked up. Yeah, let's break out the P90s. Let's get the money. Amen. It's bulletproof, man. You're wasting your time. And what if I say... Open sesame. I have a thing about open sesame. Ever since I read Ali Barbar as a kid. Drop the gun, Moreno. I should have known there was something hinky about you two freaks. We two freaks? Hacked your shredder weeks ago so that the money would pile up. Of course, we had to gamble on the storm, but all of life has its little risks. Now, we managed to take this place without spilling a drop of blood. I want to keep it that way. So I need your help. Now, should you choose not to help us, the no blood rule will be revoked. This is not your money. The government's not going to give it to your widow, Brenda, if you fall on your sword here now, are they? This is a federal facility, man. You know what you're facing when they catch you. Oh, I'd rather be facing that than us. The vault. How long? We have to substitute an I.O. device by loading a hunger driver routine into one of the monitor's wormholes. English. 30 minutes. Open sesame in 30. Breeze Rutledge? Yeah, who's asking? Casey Corbin, Treasury. Our generator's down. I understand you're responsible for repairs. Yeah, I'll go get my tools. Breeze, what about the boys? Well, government needs me, Will. You've done this before. <laughs> you got uh, swindled into a bunch of free labor, huh? Apparently so. Yeah, I know that game. This is yours? You one of those uh, hurricane chasers? No, I'm one of those uh, meteorologists. Anybody chases hurricanes got a death wish. Okay, let's go save the world. Well, Willie, right. you gonna be here when I get back? No. Okay. See you in another five years.
proud of you. Very well. But tonight, you're going to be the richest punk to ever come out of Fell's Point. Nice. So you're a hometown boy, huh? Uh-huh. Well, I took a small detour to Afghanistan and back, but that was just to break up the monotony. It'll do that. Now, you see that? That right there was my last official glory zone. <laughs> yeah, you're looking at the starting quarterback of the Gulf Port Gators. From 99 to 2001. All winning seasons, mind you. <laughs> I got six brothers. They ate, slept, and drank football. Six brothers? Yep. Shit, lady, I got just one, and it's a damn minefield. Open it. It's all yours. What the f Maybe we ran into her bots and tried again. What is going on? The code, it's not working. You told us you hacked it solid. We did. We ran it through this morning. Then why can't you open it? This was your only job. Somebody changed the code. It wasn't me. That can only come from Washington. Or the Washington liaison. Casey Corbin. We can work through our dedicated cell and do the hack all over. Let's work on two fronts, Connor. Frears and I will do the hack all over again while you find Miss Corbin. Time frame? Three hours, minimum. You could do it in two. Yes, my love. Two will be fine. All right. Get to it. Where is she? are gonna spill all over this thing. Let's... Where is she? The gen... The backup generator failed. She went to get the repair guy. She should have been back by now. Not good. Listen, if you want help, just say the word. Keep low and keep it running.
treasury's being robbed. You left with my brother. I didn't see him. Where is he? I think they have him. Think who, who has him? The crew that somehow managed to knock over a maximum security facility. We gotta go back. Wait. These guys must be pretty heavy hitters to pull this off. They're not just gonna hand him over because we asked. They need him. Need him for what? The backup generator's down. He's the only one that can fix it. They're gonna need power to get in that vault. So once he's through with that, they're through with him. I gotta call DC. You have sat? Damn, he shot my satellite like shit! Shit! Hey, hey, shit. hey, hey, hey. We gotta stay focused, okay? We're gonna get help. Just let's stay calm. Listen, lady. We're about to be crushed by the biggest storm of the century. I don't think you know what that means. It means no one's gonna come down here and volunteer to help until it's all over, and at that point, it's gonna be too late for my brother. Look, I'm with you. You know any local cops? Yeah, I guess. It's not like anything changes around here. Okay. Best play we got. Here's the generator guy. Yeah. Breeze Rutledge just him. How's it going, Randy? Well, you know where it is. Get to it. Try a zygomorph. I already called the dummy procedure there to force a flash of the optimizer's register coloring. That's getting us somewhere. on a mandatory evacuation. I'm sure glad you don't listen to your own orders, Jimmy. It's me. Willie? Willie Rutledge, is that you? <laughs> Jimmy, listen. They got my brother tied up in the treasury. Who, who's got it? The treasury's being robbed. KC Corp and ATF. How many men can you round up? I knew today was going to be a shit show. Come on in the mouths. Tell me all about it. How many of them are there? I only had eyes on two. They took out 14 guards, high-tech security. There's bound to be more. So they're highly organized. I can't confirm casualties, but there was no blood, so hoping there's more than one hostage. You're going to have to do something about that. You miss it, throw down your weapon now. Oh, no, Jimmy, you ain't in on it. Well, I'm afraid so, Willie. You watch those semis rolling through this shithole day after day, filled with money. You know it's just going to the shredder. Kind of gets you thinking, Willie. You know? Gives a man ideas. Gun down now. Very good. I like a gal who follows orders. Dixon here, you read me? You got it. Yeah, pretty little thing. All wrapped up in a red ribbon. We need her alive. Do what you want with the Good Samaritan. Xander's on his way. Yeah, well, you tell him not to dawdle, you hear? Over. Connor Perkins is the inside man. Not bad, huh? For two old guys they were going to put out to pasture. 600 million sure puts a whole different complexion on retirement, I'd say. I shot them all! 
Do that to me. Again. I had to do something. But I guess it worked. Drake? I am not naturally a violent man. But if this thing is not working soon, I'm gonna show you another side of me. I'm not naturally a worried man. Ugh. But how do I know when I do fix this thing, you won't just kill me? You don't! But I would not make me think about all the maidens. Just fix it! Just do it. I am sick of waiting for people. Well, we can't keep running like this. Surviving's gonna kill us. Well, we can't leave and we can't call for help. The lines are down, cell phones are dead. When I left, all the cell phones were down, but those hackers were still working. How's that? Maybe they got a dedicated line, you know, one with a satellite uplink, like I used to have. But if they were smart, they'd have installed it ahead of time. The only way they can get the new code is to hack back into the DC mainframe. If they have a dedicated line and we could find it, we could cut it, hole up, and wait for help. Anything on here that could pick that up? You know what? This one, this reads non-ionized energy, which is basically radio. Really? Yeah. Great. So we just search golf for it. Mm-hmm. And this town just woke up from the 1940s. So there can't be but three of those cell phone towers in this whole place, and this one's gonna tell us which one of those is active. Mr. Rutledge, you uh, and my... Dr. Rutledge. <laughs> well, I have a PhD in synoptic meteorology. <laughs> Dr. Rutledge, you're my kind of expert. Well, thank you. Sandra, come in, do you copy? Xander, pick up the walkie, where are you? Oh. Oh, There's an accident! Curse totals! 
Are you all right? I'm a bit shook up, man, but I'm fine. Hey, Sheriff! He's broken his arm! It looks pretty bad! Cut the shit. Where's the girl? Have you got the girl? She got away, Carter! We screwed up the easiest chance we had. We're outside the Atlantic Hotel! He's getting savage out here! You got it! Oh, got it! Is Andrew there coming to get you? I don't understand. If you've always been so afraid of these storms, how the hell you ended up with this job? <laughs> Could at least be in some nice dry TV studio. Up next, we have weatherman Willie bringing you news of a big storm across the Gulf. All right, thank you, Casey. Yeah, that's right. We got 500 <laughs> miles of Armageddon on its way to crush your house and destroy your life. <laughs> All joking aside, and that is case number one for man-made climate change, the ocean warming. It just gives more and more energy to these hurricanes. Right now, the limit's Cat 5. Pretty soon, it's going to be Cat 6 and 7 and so on and so forth. By that time, you're killing hundreds of thousands of people. We can just figure out their secrets, you know? Me and my colleagues, people like us, we can mitigate how these storms occur. Maybe even stop them all together. Seems, um... Seems real personal for you. Yeah, I just hope you never have to watch someone you love die right in front of your eyes. Back in Utah, I made a bad decision. Got someone killed. I'm sorry to hear that, Casey. It's like a, a weight you never really put down, do you? No, you do not.
back. Somebody's up there. This will take a little bit of time, so just keep patient. I can be patient for 600 million. She's gone! We gotta move! Now! Go get that woman! I got you! Go! It's a computer. It's working at the speed of light, thank you, Rice. Okay, we got three more to go. said, way to go, Casey.
vault to Pollock Ajax. One wrong entry and it shuts down for 48 hours. Yep, yeah, that's what I thought. Now, Grok, this is a two integer number. So after the initialization, I analyzed the previous numbers. It's a partial Fibonacci sequence. See, apply it forward and it'll narrow the probability of the 33rd number. All right, we got two civilians possibly armed. We got at least three hostiles, all with P90s. And they got Marino. Get us out of here. We'll take them. Yes, sir. Holy shit, he's trying to be the soldiers. this straight. You're the only one with the code, and that's why they need you? Right. So why don't you do it? Why don't I what? Open the safe. It's not your money. I can't. Can't's not an answer. I, I just can't. That's the job right now, as shitty as it is. You don't understand. You I can't just I walk do. into a hostage negotiation. You want to beat that... them at their own game, but they need you alive. So it's a safe game for you. I can't say the same for me and Breeze. He could lose his life because you want your old job back. No. I'd say that's right on the money. Well, listen, as long as I have the code, they don't have the money. As long as they don't have the money, the hostages live. If they get it, they kill all the witnesses. Follow me. What? Come on. I'm following a damn weatherman. You'll learn to love it. You okay, boss? No way, I'm okay. I'm busted. Get this back at him. the Fed? We couldn't bring her in. The storm is the other side of hell. Where's Andrew? Where's my brother? He didn't make it. What do you mean? He's dead. Jackie, too. Both of them. Who did it? The Fed. Fed. Don't, 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 listen, listen to me, Bryce. Listen. If we don't get the money, they both died for nothing. And we're left with nothing. That's all we got left, me and you. The money, okay? You know, uh, there's a strange irony in all this. It was us who planned to use the hurricane. And by some crazy twist of fate, we collide with somebody who knows it better than us. Boys. What the hell? Simple. The sheriff had a plan within a plan all along. It was like I said. Fate works in crazy ways. <laughs> like when I was sitting in a bar of my own, bitching about my lot in life. And right next to me was another man doing the same thing. What are you telling me this for? I was there, you idiot. Well, not such an idiot. Obviously. Everything was planned perfectly. All we needed was one little hurricane. But you screwed it up. Because you didn't have the balls to pull this off in the right way. So everything went sideways. Well, I'm taking over now. Boys, we gonna get that gal. Cattle prod her privates until she gives us the code. 
And after that, the money's all mine. You hear? You hear me loud and clear, boy? Well, that was loud and very clear. I have a proposal. Speak a piece. You stick with me, and I'll bonus you all at 20 million apiece. I don't mind partners, but I do hate witnesses. What's it gonna be? Well, I think we can work with that. But there will be no money to split. Unless we can get that woman in here to open that vault. It sounds insane. You really think this could work? This pressure inversion. Right. It's risky, but it's the best chance we've got. Those are some slim odds. Make the call. Come in. This is Agent Corbin. Do you read me? Over. KC. Nice of you to check in. Didn't peg you for a traitor, Connor. Guess you can forget about that retirement in Ireland. Just a nice supermax for you. I doubt that's why you called. I'm tired of running. I'm ready to make a deal. A trade. What kind of trade? You release all the hostages, and I will come in and open the vault. You can have it all. That sounds too good to be true, coming from an ambitious guy like you. I don't want anyone else to die. Money or garbage, not mine. I will give you one hostage, one for one. No deal. Then people start to die, starting with your friend Moreno here. Two hostages. Release Moreno and the repair guy, and I will come in. After you get the money, release all of the army guys. Do we have a deal? Deal. Where are you? Get proof of life. Casey. Where are you? Not so fast. First, you have to prove they're still alive. Gonna need to talk to Brief Rutledge. Get the repair guy on. And put Agent Moreno on. Let me talk to him. It's me, Casey. Thank you. No need to thank me, Randy. We're on the same team. Will? Here. Someone wants to talk to you. Grace, Red Dog Omar 22. <laughs> hey, kid. Breathe you in one piece? I'm still breathing. I thought you left. Nah, I got to mess with you too much. <laughs> oh, Willie. Listen. Brother, save yourself, man. They're gonna kill me anyway. Just be cool. All right? Everything's gonna be okay. You'll see. I love you. Yeah, I love you, too. In fact, everybody loves everybody around here. Now, where are you? We're at the mall. Which mall? It's only one mall in Gulfport. Figure it out. Of course there is. Put this on. It's a safety harness. I've tried everything. There's no word. He's he's just gone. You gotta hand it to him. He was right. Tammy is going off the chart. shop here with my dad. We had a small Catalina, 16 and a half footer. Mm. Used to take it out on the golf in the summer times. It was fun. Now you're on. Show 
Come on now. Come out wherever you are. Move! Okay, hold it. Show yourselves! That's far enough! You don't want no trouble, man. Get him for the treasury woman, right? This is the deal. Now, where is she? She around here somewhere. She just loves shopping. Next, Joe Picasso, you asshole. The girl or he dies? Hey, Dome down there, Breeze. Well, I'm just waiting for my quarterback to call the play. This play just a little flea flicker on my signal go long. Shut your yap up and send her out now. Okay. Okay. Case? Where's Moreno? Oh, he's safe and sound. You can trust us. We're the police. Figured this would be the first place to look. Got your gift. It's my daddy's. Beauty. Browning. Wow. Eight rounds is better than nothing. Thank you. I think the Iron Storm's gonna be off us real soon. It's confusing how in songs they always say into the eye of the storm. And that's the, the calm part. Yeah, it could be the most beautiful place. 20 to 40 miles wide, could be like a warm summer's day. Now the eye wall, that's a different story. That's the real killer. The you know, the layer around the ring. That's fueled by thunderstorms on an atomic bomb level. I mean, you get trapped in that, sure enough, it's dead. Great. Ain't nothing in there but poison. I got what you want. What you want is peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Yes, really? Uh huh. Oh, I freaking love Monday, you weirdo. This is Jeff. No, well, I'm a, I'm a skippy guy, so skip. Really? I'd smoke a strawberry though. Correct the mundo. They're gonna use the eye to escape, aren't they? That's what I do. Roll out in the middle. Let it dissipate. What's gonna do when it gets in? We should take the fight to them. 
How do you mean? Car bomb. We detonated at a safe distance. But car bomb. We just need ammonia, fertilizer, diesel things we can get at a garden supply store. Well, how the hell do you know that? When you're a Fed, they teach you this shit. Uh. Timothy McVeigh took out the federal building with that. We just load up a car, plant it at the gate when they convoy out, blow it. Okay, so we're gonna need the car. Well, it's not on its roof. We need to be watertight. Mm-hmm. Have a decent electrical system. Yeah. Where are we gonna find a car like that? <laughs> the Dominator? No! No! Are you kidding? This is a federal beer? Federal property? So is the $600 million. They would buy you a fleet of these things for that well. <laughs> no. I need your help. Found it! Just out of them gas, get more bang for your buck. Must have seen the Dominator. We'll look for where in the back. Listen to me, Casey. I know you're in here. There's four of us, all with automatics against whatever you got. You need me. I'm the only one with the code. The protection's only for you. It doesn't apply to your boyfriend. I'll tell you what, you let him drive away unharmed, and I will come in and open the safe. No, no, no. Call him out. Call him out!
Shred me? Oh, not you. Him. No. Hey, no! No! no. I'm gonna get that! Wait, you wait! Stop! You win. You, you win. here all the time. said to me, money won't get you to heaven, Connor. Clearly, he never saw this. That is what you get for causing us so much trouble. That is for Xander. That is for Jackie. Load up. Bring her. I'm not done with her just yet. Put that ranch away. Well, let's shoot up, man. It's your vitamins. Something warm? Definitely need some of this. What in the hell? Well, I am a citizen of Alabama. You yeah, man. Oh, Willie, take a pick. Nah, I'd only wind up shooting you or me. That's the eye of the storm. About 40 miles wide, it can be like a bright sunny day in the middle of hell. Well then, it's time for the Rutledge boys to go to work. They sure as shit got the money. And they sure as shit got her too. Let me ask you a question, Willie. We could just let the whole pack of them go. Money and all. And what they teach you in the army. Leave no man behind you. Forget that? Well, I was just testing. Nice to see you grow up here since this morning. Let's take the shortcut. Pick him up at Shelly's farm. Right? <clears throat> I need to tell you something. No, you don't. Everything's fine. Just leave it. 
No, I want to apologize for some of the things I said. Oh, we all say things we don't mean. Forget it. Well, I can't. Like, I know you know I was just a little kid, but I said some stuff to try and hurt you. I get it. I get it. And I'm well and truly sorry. Oh, shit, I'm sorry, too. I ain't been the best older brother I could have been, either. Lord knows I tried, man. Just not hard enough. All right, now that we put all that shit out there, you gotta promise me something. Name it. I gave you this once. Once, Willie. But you gotta promise me this is the last time we ever share our deep personal feelings again. Huh? Hell yes, sir. You got yourself a day. Speed up, that thing wants to swallow us whole. Now you know why I put you last. <laughs> Keep it on the road. And you, nobody asked to hear from you. Keep it zipped, hear me? Victory's where you find Get one in 
even think about it, sweet you. Ready? Oh, yeah. Here goes nothing. Well, you better hope not. I just want to tell you this, Rice. You got anger issues with women. <laughs> outside. Tell me how far back the eye wall is. Half mile at most.
Jefferson and backwards into the eye wall? He must have figured it out by now, but I sure wish I could have seen his face when he did. Pictures where you can get them. That was a mouthful. I guess so. We got 200 million. That's some kind of victory. And our lives. Yes. That's some kind of victory. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Listen, I've got you two partners. 200 million in cash. No one knows shit. What do you say we turn this truck around and head to Mexico? Mexico. Yeah, I'd like the sound of that. Yeah, we could get into a shitload of dangerous. <laughs> but, you know. I was <laughs> messing with you, you <laughs> degenerates. <laughs> oh, mercy. <laughs> a rich guy at night. teach you that in PhD school. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> 